The Casimir effect is caused because there are things called quantum fluctuations in our universe. Even when things have apparently no energy or no change at all, at the quantum level, levels far smaller than atoms with energies far tinier than a single, say, electrical pulse, there is a little bit of this happening all the time all around you. So if you are getting a smaller and smaller space between these two plates, you get to a small enough point where the quantum fluctuations are actually bouncing off of those plates. And so you create an attractive or sometimes a repulsive force okay. that kicks in only just before they touch because the quantum effects, small as they are, are definitely there. And so you can imagine actually influencing something without actually pushing on it or pulling on it. It's actually just the quantum work that's being done because the universe is shimmering you have to, on you that have tiny to level. Really, really close. Super close. Mm. So, so I'm a villain, just yes. an average villain, but oh. I want to upgrade to super villain. Ooh. How am I using the Casimir effect? The Casimir effect. Yeah. Oh. I, is, it, is it like your hair kind okay. of stuff? <laughs> yes, Play? that's a great point. If you somehow were a superhero or a supervillain yes. that could take advantage of quantum fluctuations, you might be able to say, I hereby declare that the quantum fluctuations in this part of the universe are going to be reduced. In exchange, the puns in this part are going to be increased. All of a sudden, you have all this extra energy over here and much less over there. So you can imagine something literally being sucked from here to there due to quantum effects alone. Because the object naturally wants to go so, from high energy to low energy. That's right. Right. So okay. you could move something without doing anything other than just changing the quantum fluctuation You're creating energy. Gradient. You're creating that gradient. Yeah. And the problem, of course, is that this is a much larger space than the quantum fluctuation space is. Anytime you have a quantum fluctuation, we're talking things that are billionths of billionths of inches, right? Going from this part of the room to that part of the room. If you wanted to carry me from here to there, that's many, 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 many billionths of inches. 